What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Once again, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're going to be putting a little sum sum, no spoilers, but the title and thumbnail probably gave it away. We're going to be putting a little sum sum over in this very unutilized area. You can see we just kind of got an open lot over here, and uh, we're going to fix that today. First and first mostly before we even get into anything else we're going to come over to our toolbox we also have a couple of skill points that i think we're going to use to unlock some stuff the first thing is the renovator ability so we're going to go ahead and hold enter on that to unlock it and then we have three more available these up here cost two so i'll do fast hands right there and then we'll do what is this strong arms increased mounting and unmounting speed by 10 percent absolutely we definitely need that. Now we have zero skill points to use. So let's go back to here. And let's see, it was this one. Okay, I guess the I guess the jig is up now. You can see that it says car wash right there. Builds car wash near your garage, allows you to clean your car and customer cars, not just our own personal car. And it doesn't require any expansions, so we're good there. Only costs 1,700 bucks. And there we go, dude. We just bought ourselves our very first car wash. It's kind of just like a like a pop-up type shop deal. I mean, it's it's not really a, uh, a permanent building, but uh, for the time being, I think it'll get the job done. So over here, we have the car wash-er. Uh, there's no car to work on. Okay, yeah, kind of figured we couldn't use it if there was nothing in here. And then we have a new interior detailing kit. Did it just, because we had one inside. I feel like it might've just moved it out here. Let's run back inside really quick and just... No. Okay, now we have two of them. So just in case we're not in the garage and we actually want to clean the interior at the car wash, we can do that. So I'm pretty eager to actually start using that thing, but I think we need one other thing. We got quite a bit of money. You know, we got quite a bit of money at our disposal. We're sitting at 9200 bucks right now. So coming back into here, I am, I'm so, so tempted to buy the welder. The welder would be such a great tool for us. That's going to allow us to repair any rust that is on the frame of the vehicle, not for body parts. I don't know. I don't know. So it adds a welder to your garage. It says extend your services to include full body repairs. Reading that now kind of makes me think maybe there's a chance we can actually repair body panels with it too. I don't really know. 5,000 bucks is a stretch though, dude. We're going to be left with four grand. And then if somebody came in, right somebody comes in and they need a lot of parts a lot of expensive parts we're not going to be able to purchase those and then in turn we're going to get put really really far behind schedule so i'm tempted to check out our next story order here the chevrolet camaro we'll see what we got fix body parts okay okay this is new we haven't had to fix any body parts so far so maybe maybe that's the game telling us we should actually upgrade to the welder full body repairs leads me to believe we're going to be able to do full body repairs. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to hold that. 5,000 bucks, dude. We got $4,200 to our name. Here we go. Garage expansion. Adds a repair table to your garage for repairing body panels. Got it. So we, we probably didn't actually need to buy the welder, come to think of it. But uh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go ahead and start the next story order. And... Uh, We'll see if we can... Oh, I got to read through this. We'll see if we can use the car wash and the welder and all that stuff on this job. It says, good morning. Would you be able to help me? It's my first car. It might not be the perfect car, but it's mine. I've always dreamed about one like this, so I finally managed to save some cash. And I started looking immediately. It seems that I might have gotten a bit carried away. I heard that this doesn't bode well. The salesman said that the brakes needed to be repaired, but the rest is in perfect condition. This morning, I heard a banging in the back of the car, and it pulls to the right I hope it's nothing serious. I'll borrow some cash if necessary, but I hope it's just the brakes. I can't wait to hit the road again. Please do check up and replace what you need. See ya. Fix body parts, change the oil, drain old, refill with new, and other tasks. Let's go ahead and accept that order, dude. I'm I'm pretty pumped. I'm fired up. I was also working on my, my IRL personal car this morning, uh, doing some cooling system services, and I, I think my thermostat is actually stuck closed which is just fantastic if it was stuck open i really wouldn't care that much but the fact that no coolant is circulating through the radiator is uh is a bit problematic meaning i can't drive the thing around so r.i.p but let's take a look at this car 
and we'll see what we got. Ooh. Only thing we know so far is it needs all four brake pads. Everything else, big mystery. Big old mystery. And then front bumper is the only thing we have to replace. That is just fantastic. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dang it. I should have marked that. I can still mark it, I think, here. Front bumper. Chevy Camaro front bumper. Got it. All right. And then the headlights were actually fine. Let's move the vehicle into car lifter A, and we will get after it, dude. So a lot of unknowns. A lot of unknowns with this thing. That's, uh, that's kind of scary. Not going to lie. Also, I love how the fender is molded into the mirror. Is it like that on both sides? That's kind of slick, Rick. I don't actually know. What year was this? Uh, 96? Yeah, I don't actually know if the 96 Camaros had that. But if they did, that's... I mean, that's before their time, man. That's cool. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I'm seeing some other things that aren't really matching up. But uh, it's not an exact replica of the Camaro. It's just pretty dang close. It looks like we got an LS in here. Big old V8. I'm going to go ahead and just top off the washer fluid while we're... While we're thinking about doing all the fluid stuff because that's really the only other thing we have to do here apart from repairing the bumper and then the rest sounds like it's going to be hopefully all suspension related just looking at the engine up from the top view doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it so we should be okay there let's go down other tasks that is that complete then we're going to have to do the oil change pretty easy let's actually mark the oil filter now just so we can get that out of the way should be right down there. Oh, that thing is dusted, dude. Oil filter V8 added to the parts list. Perfect. Since we are doing an oil change, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the air. We'll wait till it reaches max height. And then we can move this bad boy Billy on over there and drain it. There we be. Nice. Okay, it actually didn't have that much oil in it. And we'll move it back to where it came from. Let's go ahead and grab this oil filter while we're uh, underneath here. And then what else needs replaced, dude? I don't see anything right away like nothing oh wheel bearing oh front wheel hub the wheel hub itself is is bad okay wait what is this oh the welder the welder i saw something highlighted in orange over here move equipment so i think it costs a thousand dollars this vehicle actually doesn't have a speck of rust or dirt on it it's actually really clean so we don't have to use the either thing that we just bought the car wash or the welder big sad on that one but it's all right first things first let's go to the parts store we're gonna grab an oil filter bumper's gonna be in the body workstation under camaro front bumper right there perfect okay and we can't paint this i hope this dude knows that <laughs> we have no way of painting any sort of body part just yet but there is a new bumper for him let's go ahead and put the left headlight in we should be doing this on the ground i realize that but you know, convenience. We got to be able to chuck the oil filter up in there. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick. There we be. All right, let's lower her back down. We got to fill the engine with oil. Now, my idea here, rather than trying to run the tests using whatever diagnostic tools we have, I actually think I'm going to take this one to the test track because I think we can test a lot of the suspension components that way. We're just going to top her off with some Earl real quick. Got that Earl. Dude, we only got 3,800 bucks yet. Kind of nerve-wracking. I really hope we don't run out of money, especially on a, a story job like this. That would not be good. And then, did he have a front plate? He or she? It doesn't look like this car actually has a front plate bracket, so I think we're good. Check the car status one mo again before we head out. So these three columns down there are done. The rest is just up here. So let's move the vehicle back out to the garage entrance. I don't actually know if we have to do this, but uh, now if we hop in it, just because when it's on the when it's on the lift, you can't actually open the door. And then we can open the pie menu and drive the car. Here we go. Oh, the engine can't be started. The battery is an unknown. Battery's at 70, 73%. I think I'm going to charge that, but why wouldn't we be able to start the vehicle? Let's maybe... I guess we might have to do a little bit of diagnostic stuff on this. Let's do a fuel pressure test. Engine cannot be started. Why does it keep saying that? I don't I don't understand. We're going to get the multimeter out, dude. We're going to see what's going on here firsthand. Alternator, see starter. All that is fine. A couple of fuses are low, but they're also okay. Dude, nothing. Nothing in this whole group is preventing us from starting the vehicle. Okay, let's do OBD2 scanner. Surely there will be something in here. What could it be? Ignition coil. Okay. Got one bad ignition coil. One, two, three, four. 
Five. <laughs> five bad spark plugs. Okay, three bad ignition coils, five bad spark plugs. Holy crap. Dude, this thing really hides its gremlins. Oh, that's right. And then we got this this fuel rail. That definitely needs to be replaced. Let's pop that out really quick. Okay, so most of this vehicle is actually not going to be suspension related. Man, that really sucks. Okay, those ignition coils are fine. Let's check this side. We got two faulty ones right there. And then there were a ton of bad spark plugs, dude. We got one, two for sure. And then I guess we're going to have to take out all the ignition coils just so we can make sure we're not... There it is. There it is. Make sure we're not missing any spark plugs. We get another bad ignition coil over here. Probably, yep, bad spark plug underneath of it. It's a good thing we're checking all this. Real good thing we're checking. That plug is fine. Next coil. Uh, that one is bad. Okay, we're going to pull that out. Dude, I don't even know how many we got bad and how many we got okay at this point. All right, sweet. I'm hoping that replacing these few items is going to allow us to actually turn the vehicle over because it did seem like there were quite a few suspension issues. All right, we got the new plugs thrown in now. I'm just going to highlight the ignition coils so we know which one specifically we have to replace. Looks like these three right here. So we're going to put our new 100% coil on that side and then these two here. And then everything else doesn't really matter if it's 80%, 75%. Those are the only ones that were bad enough that needed to be replaced. So we're just going to throw whatever we have left back in these few slots. And then we got the fuel rail. And that should be the last thing on the top side of the engine that I noticed. So let's go to the car status and just make sure we have everything unchecked. There we go. Okay, and then the battery. I was going to go charge that really quick. It doesn't need to be fully charged for the vehicle to uh, to be able to turn over. But it's just a nice thing. You know, it's... It's free of charge. I'm sure our, our customers are probably going to appreciate that. One or two of them anyways. Here we go. Let's put the battery back in. All right. Now, if we hop back into the driver's seat here, we should be able to now drive the car. Engine can't be started. Why? <laughs> Why, dude? You know what? Maybe this is just one of those ones where it's like, yeah, there's some engine problems, some suspension problems, but you can't actually take the vehicle anywhere. Just because it's a story vehicle... Kind of thinking that might be the case. So I'm going to start by taking off all four wheels and tires. And then we'll kind of inspect each suspension component as we go around. Okay, starting with the driver's side front here. Looks like, well, we actually already knew all four of the brake pads were, were bad. So I'm going to mark that one. And then underneath this wheel hub cap, it does look like that front wheel hub will actually need to be replaced as well. So let's go ahead and remove the caliper so we can get to all of that. And we've already marked the brake pads. We'll just take those off. Let's remove the brake disc. Yeah, dude, look at how rusty and just nasty that thing is. Front wheel hub. Let's get that marked. Oh, we gotta we gotta remove the wheel hub bearing. Is that gross? No, bearing is actually okay. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Now we can take off this uh, this actual hub here. And then as far as all the bushings and everything go for this side, it looks to be okay. We might have a bad bushing here. Let's check the front one. No, this one's okay. That that back one, though, is definitely bad. So we're going to go ahead and mark that one rubber bushing and go ahead and get that pulled out of there as well. All right, let's go driver's side rear. Oh, wow. See this. <laughs> this, dude. The back side, this is where all the problems are. This is where the vehicle's hiding all the gremlins for sure. We got more brake pads, which, again, we kind of knew about. Get those marked nonetheless. And then all of this stuff, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to take the disc off to get to the... Yeah, there we go. Then we got to remove this axle just to get to this dust shield. That's the greatest thing. We'll have three. There we go. Got that. And then bushing for sure. Another rubber bushing in this trailing arm. The arm itself too. And then two U-bolts. And that should be everything for this side. Oh, no, no, no. Spring cap right there. The spring and the top cap looked okay, but that bottom one's pretty shot. All right, other side, we got another bushing. I'm gonna mark that and pull it out. Then we got another U-bolt back there. I couldn't take the other side or this side off. Oh, dude, another spring cap. What is going on? Um, but I couldn't remove those just yet. The vehicle actually has to be higher up in the air to, uh, to remove those. We got a bad solid rear drive axle. Another set of nasty pads. Got that one marked. Wait, how am I supposed to... Oh, we got to remove the disc first. There we go. Take out that spring cap as well. And now, drive axle. 
We can remove that. Just four nuts on the back side. Okay, perfect. So, with that done, we just have to get the U-bolts after we lift the vehicle back up. But now we can move on to the passenger side front. And over here, bushing. Noticing a bushing for sure. Two bushings. We got one bushing up in the front of the subframe right there. On this lower suspension arm, we got another bad bushing right there. I'm going to go ahead and just mark this other one two more times. There we go. So that'll be three total bushings now for this side. I just don't want to remove the, the lower arm just yet. We actually can't because the vehicle's not high enough yet. Visually, that's all I'm seeing. Hopefully. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about the uh, the brake pads. All right. And then now with the vehicle up in the air, I'm just going to go around and get all the stuff we couldn't get when it was uh, was down too close to the ground earlier. All right. Now we can lower the vehicle back down to the ground. I'm going to go ahead and just pop the hood. And then let's check the car status. So we've replaced quite a few things already. And then rubber bushings. So we have three, three more parts that need to be discovered. They are really making it hard on us. So these spring caps, we got that all marked. Let's go through and just highlight all these or star all these parts so we know what needs to be replaced. There we go, those leaf spring U-bolts. All right, what have we not gone over this far? Probably bottom end stuff in the engine. But even then, dude, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that we're not going to have any engine problems. Maybe that's dumb of me to say that. I don't, I don't actually know. Can we use the fuel pressure? Oh, we can use it now. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. We can use the fuel pressure gauge now that we've replaced that rail, I guess. So we knew that that one piece was faulty. Fuel pump looks to be okay. All right, so nothing in that. Let's use, since we can use that, we can probably compression test it. This is going to tell us if we have any bad stuff going on in the bottom end. Ooh, yep, camshaft right there, dude. And these have, what, does this just have a single cam? It must. Yep, there it is. Single cam for the V8. And that is usually like right underneath this intake manifold. Like underneath what they call the valley cover. Right in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm totally off base. Well, to my surprise, this engine is not at all set up how I thought it was. It, uh, it doesn't appear to have just a single monster cam. If I remember right, I mean V8s typically have just a monster cam underneath that uh, that valley cover right there maybe that's just older v8s i don't know i i'm not a v8 guy okay i'm not gonna try to pretend like i know v8s yep okay so there are two camshafts per four cylinders so there's gonna be two over here there's gonna be two over there got it all right in the vault hopefully i don't forget that i probably will oh hold on Ho oh hold on amigo uh, we got a really nasty looking timing belt right there. We're going to add that to the list. Oh, we have to take off the whole front timing cover, dude. Oh, big rip. Big rip on that one. I'm half tempted to check the other side too because maybe that timing belt is, is faulty. But let's go ahead and start getting everything pulled off of this. We like just barely had enough money. Not really. We still got two grand, but it was a little bit closer than I was hoping for, for sure. We we spent a lot of money on uh, on hopefully some good parts. Hopefully none of them fail. The other two parts that we were looking for, you guys may remember, we had two missing to be yet to be discovered parts, and those were actually both of the timing belts. And uh, it was it was actually surprisingly easy to pinpoint that too, just because on the top of the belt themselves, like you can really tell if the belts in this game are, are cracked or brittle in any way. It's, it's very obvious. So that was the last two parts that we had to discover. Now all we have to do is throw this whole thing back together.
Alrighty, that should be everything on the 1996 Chevrolet Camaro. We're gonna go ahead and lower the vehicle back down to the ground. And you know what? Just because I'm feeling nice today, I'm, I'm in a good mood. You know, we're gonna move the car over to our new car wash. And we're not only gonna clean the exterior of the vehicle, but I also do wanna use the interior car cleaning kit. So we get to finally see what this is all about in its final form. We saw this in the demo and it, it was okay. We couldn't actually like, use anything i don't think but um some of the stuff did exist in the previous game like the interior detailing kit let's see if it has a new oh it does it has an actual animation it used to just be like done interior completely clean but i like that the a little foam little foam on the inside so we do actually have to to pay money in order to clean this stuff i'm pretty sure no not this one interior detail appears to be free let's try car wash also free. Okay, never mind. Both of these are free. I love that. I absolutely love that. We're doing this for every single customer car in that case, dude. It really shined up. God dang, it really shined up. Okay, yep, this... It's gotta be the thumbnail image right here. Gotta be. All right, I think I got a couple of good ones anyway. So let's just do one more quick run through just to make sure we got everything. All of that is good. All of that is good. And washer fluid. I did remember, I think to top off the coolant again. Yes, we did have to drain that because we had to remove the water pump in order to take that timing cover off. So, the Camaro is done, dude. Let's go ahead and finish the order. I don't actually remember how much money we started with, but 6,900 bucks is nothing to be upset over. So let's see, now we just got another, well, we, we just bumped up another level. Now we're level six, so that's, that's good to see right there. But uh, let's actually open up our inventory. We have a bunch of scrap parts. I'm gonna go ahead and sell everything again, everything under 100%. Why not, might as well. We have three barn map locations, or barn location maps, a little dyslexic today. Let's go ahead and open this next case, dude. We're gonna do the middle one. Another case, love that, and bonus, nice. Those are, uh, oh, what are those called? Not gears, I always wanna call them gears just because of the icon, scrap, bonus scrap. Open the next case. See what we got in this one. Again, middle. Bonus credits. Into it, into it. Another case, dude. I love that. I love that you can get cases from cases. That is uh, another case. There it is. Really, really good to see. All right. We haven't gotten anything crazy from this. I don't know if there's any like super big uh, oddballs in this stuff. Other than like the, the location map for the barn, I guess that's pretty good. Another case, another case. I'm into it, dude. Let's keep her going. XP, bonus XP, and bonus credits. All right. Can't complain about some bonus XP and credits. So we are level 6, 426 XP. And uh, you know what? No spoilers. I was going to check out what the next car is going to be, but I think we'll save that for the next episode. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.